हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एम एस बायो अकेडमी दिस इज मी मोनिका शर्मा एंड लेट्स बिगिन टूडेज टॉपिक सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द एंटीजेंस इम्यूनोजेंस एंड हैप्टेंस सो दिस दीज आर द डिफरेंट Uh, very confusing terms most of the times everybody get confused with all these terms there is very slight difference among all these terms only uh, so let's understand what is that slight difference uh, between these terminologies which we use right so let's see that so this is uh, before uh, telling you about uh, the what is immunogen what is antigen and what is haptens let me tell you uh, this one line which you must have heard uh, in your textbooks so right so this is a line which says that all immunogens are antigenic but all antigens cannot be immunogenic so what is this means let's understand this first we'll talk about what are immunogens antigens then we'll be able to clearly understand this statement what does this really mean so stay tuned and keep watching this video till the end at the end i'm going to tell you what is the this line means actually right so immunogens immunogens are those molecules which can be of any chemical group be it a polysaccharide be it a proteins be it a lipid or anything but these molecules have the capability that they can generate an immune response right so those molecules which are capable of generating an immune response are known as immunogens all right i hope this is this sounds okay to you then second is antigens antigens we are keep on talking about them they are the foreign substances which try to invade inside our body against which the immune system generate an immune response right so basically antigens in if i say uh, in comparison to the immunogen what is antigen is so antigen clearly if i state what is antigen so antigens are basically the immunogens since they are also generating an immune response right so antigens is an immunogen that is capable of binding to the product of the immune response so what is the difference from the immunogen that antigens are also immunogen that means they are also capable of generating an immune response but what extra thing they are doing they are binding to the product of the immune response so what is the product of the immune response let's suppose if this antigen is coming and invading inside our body so in the blood circulation uh, uh, whatever the immune cells let's suppose the b cells encounter this antigen with its b cell receptors so the moment it binds with the b cell receptors the b cells get differentiated and will form the plasma cells and the memory cells so we know that plasma cells will generate will secrete the antibodies right they will secrete an antibodies against which is specific to this particular pathogen right so these what is the product of this immune response so this is the immune response which is generated and the product is this antibodies right so antigens are those immunogen which is capable of binding to the products that is the antibodies are capable of binding to the product of the immune response so basically they are capable of binding to the antibodies right so those are called as the antigens and antigens binding is basically mainly due to what we know that the body does not bind to the complete pathogen but it will bind to a specific epitopes right so there are different uh, epitopes are present on the surface of the uh antigen or surface of the pathogens so there will be a specific antibodies against a specific uh, epitope right so this will be different this epitope for this there will be a different antibody right so there will be a specific antibody for every epitope but that binding should always happen then that is called as a antigens right now let's see what are haptens there is a term known as haptins haptins are basically a small molecule they are very tiny molecules of very low molecular weight which when binds to the carrier protein can become an immunogen now what is this line means so haptins are basically very small molecule they are of very 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 low molecular weight that 
दे आर नॉट केपेबल ऑफ बाइंडिंग टू दीज एंटीबॉडीज और दे आर नॉट एबल टू जनरेट एनी इम्यून रिस्पॉन्स राइट बाय अ लोन अंटिल एंड अनलस दे आर बींग बाउंडेड टू एनी कैरियर प्रोटीन विच हैज़ अ हाई मॉलिकुलर वेट सो वॉट हैपन द मोमेंट इट बाइंड टू द कैरियर प्रोटीन द हैप्टन मॉलिक्यूल्स मॉलिकुलर वेट विल ऑल्सो इंक्रीज राइट एंड दिस इंक्रीज इन द मॉलिकुलर वेट ऑफ दीज हैप्टन्स विल देन अलाउ देम टू बाइंड to the antibodies right and then they will be able to generate an immune response so you can say that haptins are the antigens they are the foreign substance only but still they are not able to generate any immune response until and unless they are bound to a certain carrier protein large carrier protein then they will generate an immune response that is then they will be called as a immunogens so in simplified form you can say that haptins which are basically the antigens the small molecular antigens these haptins plus carrier protein will be equal to immunogen otherwise a lone hapton if we talk about the alone hapton this is not equal to immunogen right so now just let's go back and uh, uh, see the first uh, statement which we have uh, seen starting uh, when we were starting this video so this is that statement all immunogens are antigenic but all antigens cannot be immunogenic now just i hope you would have understood the meaning of this all immunogens are antigenic every molecule which is able to generate an immune response they will be considered as antigenic means they will be considered as foreign molecules or they will be considered as antigenic means they will be able to bind to the antibodies or the product of the immune response but all the antigens cannot be immunogenic it is not necessary that every molecule every foreign body which is capable of binding with any antibody they will be able to generate an immune response that is not at all true just like the haptins right so haptin is one of the antigen but still haptin is not able to generate any immune response until and unless it is bound to one carrier protein then only it becomes immunogenic so we can say that all the antigens cannot be immunogenic but all immunogens are antigenic i hope now this is clear to you what this statement means and these terminologies means right so if you like my lesson please do share it and please do subscribe for ms bio academy so let me know in the comment section down below if you have any queries and stay tuned and happy learning bye for now